What's going on, y'all? This is John Alsace with Face Mask Fantasy. We got new up-to-date fantasy content coming your way every day on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, then please hit that button. But before we get into our main topic for today, my co-host Nick Payne put in a ton of work to give you guys a free 2021 redraft draft kit available on our website, which can be found at facemaskpod.com. It's a great piece of content, something that other analysts might be charging you for but we're giving it to you for free so without further ado let's get into some fantasy talk and today we're going to talk about anthony schwartz six foot 186 pounds and the browns selected him out of auburn with the 91st overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. If there's one thing you know about Anthony Schwartz coming into the draft process, it was that this guy comes with a ton of speed and that translated on the field. He had a nine yards after catch per reception number and a 10.7 yards per carry number on 11 rushes at Auburn last season. His speed translated in college, but Schwartz still needs to develop as a reliable receiver. He possesses that rare burst and that speed that cornerbacks can't match and that you just can't teach in the NFL. I know, huge cliche, but I had to throw it out there because with Schwartz, that's such a huge part of his game, it could not be overlooked. But Schwartz on the Browns will compete with Rashard Higgins and Donovan Peoples-Jones for snaps behind Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham. The Browns are super deep at wide receiver and they're a run first team. I mean, they just re-signed Nick Chubb to a huge deal and they already had Kareem Hunt locked up for at least the next two seasons. They have two great number one wide receivers in Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham out there. And none of these wide receivers are gonna come in and take the job from either of these two incumbents. But the Browns also have Austin Hooper, Harrison Bryant, and David Njoku at tight end, who will also siphon away receiving work from Anthony Schwartz. Now, The Athletics' Zach Jackson reports that Anthony Schwartz is likely to begin the season as a special teams contributor. Well, that's not very good for his outlook because unlike other wide receivers in this class, Anthony Schwartz does not come with any special teams work on his resume. He's never returned a punt and he never returned a kick in three seasons at Auburn. So yeah, he might see some reps there in camp, but I don't think he's going to get the job. So that begs the question, will he be active on game day? I mean, he needs work running routes. This depth chart is pretty full up. This doesn't project to be a passing team, and when they do pass, they have options everywhere. Why would they use a rookie when they have a second-year wide receiver in Donovan Peoples-Jones who's just gotten heaps of praise thrown on him by Kevin Stefanski? This is, a, this is a quote from their head coach, Kevin Stefanski. You saw his role grow through the courses of the season. He's a very intelligent football player, and I knew that from the jump with him. He could line up everywhere and do his job, and we are looking forward to seeing what he can do as he grows and gets more comfortable with what we are doing. These are all words of about Donovan Peoples-Jones, not Anthony Schwartz. So if you're looking to take a shot at a fringe Browns, so if you're looking to take a shot at a fringe Browns wide receiver, it should be Donovan Peoples-Jones. It should not be Anthony Schwartz this season. So what about Dynasty? This is a team that will need to shell out money for Baker Mayfield pretty soon. This is a team that has spent to the cap in recent years and will need to shell out a lot of money to keep Baker Mayfield around. They've already invested a lot of money into the running back position and you know that's going to continue to stay a strength of theirs. And both Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham are 29 years old apiece. Now I could see a world in which Donovan Peoples-Jones is the number one wide receiver on this team and Richard Higgins is the number two and Anthony Schwartz is the number three deep threat on this team. Now, how much value does that hold? With the way that they want to run this team, I'm not real sure. And because of that, I'm not super high on Anthony Schwartz because he seems a little bit like a speed receiver with not a lot else to his game. And he's more of a speed prospect than a speed receiver because his receiving chops, his route running, it needs work. So I think he's more of a project than a lot of other rookies in this draft class. And because of that, I would rather look elsewhere if I'm in a rookie draft looking for wide receivers. I'm not looking at him in season long. And if he ends up on my squad, I'm not unhappy. I'm not trying to get rid of him. I just think he has further to grow as a receiver than a lot of other prospects in this draft class. That said, he has the draft capital to where you could imagine him being one of the better deep threats in the league if they unlock his true potential. So what do you guys think about Anthony Schwartz? 
You guys think I'm completely off base? Or do you guys think I'm pretty much on point with them? Put your thoughts in the comments section below. My name is John Alsace. This is Face Mask Fantasy, bringing you new content every day on this channel. So if you have not hit that subscribe button, please do. Thank you for listening and have a great day.